should be live. And we are building Gix part 10, which is going to be the actual deck building for Gix. I don't have a ton of time today. I had a bunch of, um, started to say stuff and errands at the same time. Um, yeah, I was a little bit busy this morning. Um, obviously over the weekend we had the pre-release. Uh, went reasonably well. I only won one of the events, but my brother won the other two. Uh, the place we were playing at stopped doing the full box goes to the winner thing and actually started dividing the packs up among, like, the top four players instead. So, instead of winning three full boxes between the two of us, we won about... Probably about one and a half boxes total. Um, yeah, Ryan got first and I got second on Friday. Um, I believe I got third third, maybe fourth on the Saturday morning one, and he won it, obviously, and then uh, the last one I actually won, and I believe he got fourth for that one, so. So, yeah, so overall, a very good pre-release weekend. I did actually get a physical copy of Gix, so that was nice. <clears throat> So now I can actually build this silly guy. So I made a second copy of the deck list because <clears throat> while I think it might be interesting to eventually build around Gix for his first ability and to really take advantage of that, I think most of his raw power is in the second ability here. Like being able to discard your hand and get that many spells potentially off the top of one of your opponent's decks and just cast it. Yeah, cast all of these things all at once. I think that's going to be the much stronger of the two abilities. I can definitely see building around his first ability. Um, to try and make everybody else attack each other in order to get more cards and lower each other's life totals enough that you can just kind of swoop in and finish them off. But it's definitely his second ability that's way more interesting to me. So we're going to focus on that. So we're going to cut a whole lot of cards right away. Uh, hello, Comet of Legends. Yeah, he's good. He's going to be mono black, so we're going to just... We're going to start by cutting everything... Well, not everything. Almost everything that I put in here to focus on his first ability. So there's a ton of cards that are going to go away. And then we're going to focus more on the second ability. So. Let's see. Withering Boon, Anvil, Bogarden. Yeah, Anvil's more for the other thing. Yeah, I didn't even do a count yet because I'm going to be cutting so many cards I wanted to get rid of. Alright, we don't even need to cut because I don't need to keep track of the number. So that can go... Um, braces to get things through unblocked. Uh, bombless Pit and Megram can go. It's automaton, Claws of Gix. Uh, Pression leans more into trying to use that first ability. Uh, Scourge Familiar can stay. Victimize, Warm Power Stone, Will. Hmm. Reclamation, Amulet, Subversion, uh, Horn of Plenty was to encourage other players to draw more cards so I could punish them for having them. Oops. Uh, Larceny to take away the cards that I'm giving them and to encourage them to draw more. Uh, Greal, same thing. Genesis. Vernal Genesis might go too. One of the things was it would give players a ton of car or a ton of creatures to attack with. Oh uh, yeah, I'm not gonna do uh, a stacks build for Gix. I already did a stacks build for um Braids uh Risen Nightmare. So I'm trying to focus more on just getting massive card advantage out of the um second ability. Yeah, I did a when I did the 
um, Braid's build. It actually has things like contamination in it and whatnot to stop the opponents from being able to do anything. Smokestacks, of course, and a whole bunch of other things. For the longest time, it actually had the terrible smokestacks from Avacyn Restored, Descent into Madness, but that one finally got cut near the end. So yeah, I'm trying not to do uh, stacks again with Gix. I just want to focus on casting as many of my opponent's spells every turn as I can. And just drawing tons of cards. Um, probably won't need Balther, but he's not actually connected to the other way. Uh, Scheming Symmetry is on the list, since I can draw the card right away anyway. So that one's probably going to make it. Uh, we won't need Siphon Mind as much. I can leave the Words of Waste in, because I can use the fact that I can draw tons of cards with Gix to make them discard. Um... I'm avoiding Necro because every time you discard with Necro, it gets exiled, so I won't be able to take advantage of discarding all the cards to Gix. Um, Ad Nauseam uh, did not make the list, because uh, I draw enough cards off of Gix anyway that paying the life for Ad Nauseam uh, for the casting cost on them isn't as good. Also, I have a bunch of other things to spend all my life on, including Bolas' Citadel and possibly uh, Command the Dreadhorde. As well as all the extra card draw from Gix himself. Decree's gonna stay in. Consumed Spirit might make it. Uh, Flesh Shrieker. Or, Flesh Shrieker. Fire Shrieker. Wait. Flesh Shrieker would definitely be a Phyrexian card. I just don't know what it does, and I'm not particularly interested in seeing it in action either. That sounds horrifying. Uh, I don't need Necrogen Mists anymore. Um, I'm going to cut those because I'm cutting most of the Force Discard on the opponents, but... Yeah, if I do a different build where I focus on the first ability, uh, all the Megram effects, so Megram, Lily's Caress, and the one from uh, Ixalan, where you, if you attack that turn, the opponent discards a card, and then there's like a Spectre from one of the M sets, I think. Uh, all of them would go in, the, in this hypothetical other build where I want to make the opponent discard their hand to encourage them to draw more cards with Gix. <clears throat> But yeah, I think I'm going to cut all of those. Actually, we don't need any of these three, right? Because I need I need the cards in my hand, so Death Cloud's not as good. Uh, we're not making them discard, so the Grimoire's worse. And the Well of Lost Dreams, I don't need. Actually, hang on. I think the Well was a different card. Is that the one where I can pay based... Yeah, that's the one that lets me pay based on life, so maybe that one stays. If I want more card draw than I'm already using. Uh, we're focused less on the opponent's hand size, so that can go. The Honden can go. Grave Robber. Night Dealings. OSG, Ivory Crane I want for the life gain. Nether Trader, Tendrils, Siphon Mage maybe. Mischief, Magus of the Coffers, Null Profusion can stay. Uh, Descent can go. Oops, most deleted future site itself. <laughs> Slaughter Pack, Stronghold Rats can go. Deathrender, Dolmen Gate, Dread. Eh, we probably don't need Lily Vess anymore. We probably don't need most of the Lilies now. Things of Brighter, Shriek Maw, Bitter Blossom. Plague of Vermin, Polluted Bonds, Wound Reflection. Hmm. It's probably not necessary now either. Uh, 
Lethomancer can go. Rotting Rats can go. Ascension, Map, Blood Witch. Soren can stay. Nighthawk can stay. A uh, quest for the Nil Stone can go. Ozlek, <clears throat> Nirkana, Revenant. Painkind, Ulamog. Don't need Painful Quandary anymore. Worm Coil. Their work, Psychosis Crawler. Skull Cage, Sun Karn Liberated, Lash Rive. Red Soul Conduit, Old Scourge. Yeah, we probably don't need Lily of the Veil anymore. This Exquisite Blood, Harvester, Trail, Pack Rat. <clears throat> yes, Bracers, Lord of the Void, Pontiff. Gray Merchant, Downfall, Whip. Yeah, we probably don't need the extra draw punishers either for this deck, so we can probably get rid of the Underworld Dreams effects. Mm. I don't think we want that anymore. Don't need the Thought Render. Sucker loses two life, gain two life. Spirit Dragon, Dark Deal. Yeah, Dark Deal focuses more on the other version of the deck also. Hell of Siege, Damnable Pact. We don't need these effects anymore either. Rana, Heathen, Obnixless Reignited, Sower, Ulamog, Edis, Ripping Whale, Creeping Dread. Oh, right, that's another one. Hmm. I have to admit, I had never thought of using Necrotic Ooze with Asmodeus before, so that the not being able to draw the card effect wouldn't be in play, and you can just draw the cards with Asmodeus. I actually like that a lot. Creeping Dread can go. Floorboards can stay. Emrakul. Haunted Dead. Well, can stay for now anyway. Uh, the Orary was kind of in the other vein, so that can go. Uh, here, Bonte's Monument. Yeah, I have the Scourge on the list um, for the extra mana production. And uh, Bone Miser, too, if I discard lands. I mean, I have him for all of the different effects, but since making the tokens helps with getting through for damage and letting me draw off of anything else that I don't want at the moment, <clears throat> that's not a land or creature. Loaded, Oketra's Monument, Shadow, Throne, and Stealer. Uh, Dream Stealer is the Spectre-like thing he can go. Razakath, Torment. <clears throat> uh, 
Raiders weight can go. Compass, Roska's Contempt, Oath, Tetsamok, Immortal Sun, Bells and Lock, Josu. Alright, Burglar Rat can go. Same, Awaken the Erstwhile. Ah, uh, I am amused by actually having a deck for that one, but that is definitely more for the first ability than the second. <clears throat> uh, High Tower. Oh, the. I've never been a fan of Insidious Dreams. The Black and Four discard your hand and. Uh, Vampiric Tutor, that many cards to the top of my deck. <clears throat> Even if I'm going to be drawing all of them, it's still... Like, I've never been a huge fan of that card. I do admit, though, it does have more of a place in this deck than anything else, because I might actually be able to draw all of those cards in the same turn. Huh. I might have to actually consider it. I think I just kind of dismissed it out of habit for not actually liking the card that much. <clears throat> Zir, Order, Ayara, Strider, Piper, Rankle, Next Lotus, Shadow Spear, <coughs> Dust Fang, Lithoform, Scavenger, Null Priest. Yep, you can get rid of the Elder Fang. Hmm. I'm not making the opponents discard anymore, and I'm not really making them sacrifice stuff either outside of like a couple Eldrazi, so we can probably cut Tigrid. Uh, Onyx, Sedgemore Witch, Seven Death, Paladin. Yes. <clears throat> Passer. Tunis, Massacre. Yeah, the Purveyor goes downhill if I'm not caring about the opponent discarding. <clears throat> oh, New Shield Dread's definitely on this list. <clears throat> yeah, no, I love New Shield Dread. She's making it into so many of the black decks I have and I'm working on. <clears throat> Just because, draw it, like, I want to draw so many cards anyway, and everybody else wants to also, and... And then she eats a removal spell, but that's okay, because... She showed up in the first place. I never actually put Restless Bloodseeker's text on here. Probably won't wind up needing him, but... <clears throat> I can leave him for now. Construct, Junji... Virus Beetle can go. Spy, Shakedown, Underdog, Scrivener. <clears throat> yeah, I care less about the opponent discarding, so Frightful Return can go. <clears throat> There's Shouldred, Cruelty. Yeah, Raven Man can also go. <clears throat> Raven Man is probably the one I will most miss, but he's also the one that <clears throat> um, needs all the other... I mean, he doesn't need all of the other discard, but he was a lot more powerful. 
Is Rain of Filth the one that lets me sack my swamps for black, or is that the one that lets my swamps tap for double black? Because uh, they both came out at roughly the same... Like, they're both Urza's block cards, and I always forget which one's which. <clears throat> oh yeah, we might actually need the text for the Brothers War cards at some point. I didn't forget to go back and do that. Sack swamps for mana. Cow Cow can go... Oh, Dunn can stay for now. Elixir. Press can go. Inspector can go. Oops. And so can Temple Bell. I don't want anybody else getting cards anymore. If they want cards, they can attack my opponents and pay life. Disciple of Bolas. Uh, Lily of Dark Realms is the one that gets me swamps from my deck, so I think we can leave her for right now. Uh, Waste Knot goes way down in value. Uh, we're not making anybody else discard. Radical Healer isn't necessary anymore. Yeah, I have the font in here. Font goes so well with what Gix is already doing. <clears throat> Red Presence, Scheming Symmetry, Villas, uh, Yarlock can go, or Yarok, whichever. <clears throat> uh, that's another one that makes everybody discard. Get rid of Peer into the Abyss now, since we cut all the things that go with it. Uh, Sanctum, now that we cut the other one. Uh, we don't need to be the Monarch anymore, so all these can go. Or we don't need other people to be the Monarch, more accurately. Vitress. Archon Cruelty, Feast of Sanity. We don't need the Necrogoyf anymore. Rock can go. Court of Ambition can go. Agent, Profane Transfusion. Uh, yeah, the things that care about the initiative can go. care about that one anymore. Okay. I just need to make sure I didn't accidentally delete another one. Mm. Yeah, we don't need any more encouragement to attack other players, I don't think. So there's Don't need the Mind Eater anymore. Don't need the Jewel anymore. Discord. Fight. Uh, Shadow of the Grave is in here already. The one where you get back everything you discarded that turn. Yeah. Uh, I cut Peer into the Abyss because of... I'm cutting the Underworld Dreams effects, which, you know, is the primary reason to run something like Peer into the Abyss, so you can just kill a player by casting it. <clears throat> but if I don't have the Underworld Dreams out, then it's way less impressive to have them draw half their deck. And... I mean, I suppose I could always draw half my deck and then discard it and make them give me half of their deck, possibly. <clears throat> yeah, I always think of um, Peer into the Abyss as a finisher, not as a something I would actually cast on myself. Uh, containment Constructs in here. Baker, Wand of Orcus, Glass Heart, 
Amber Div Green Stealer Set. Uh, we're not taking the initiative anymore, so that can go. Battle Rager can go. Yeah, you probably don't need the stalker anymore. Yeah, don't need tiny bones anymore. Sorry, tiny bones. <clears throat> Lich anymore. All right. Not bad for a first pass. To go get rid of Underworld Dreams itself, since I cut all the other things that go with it. Okay. Now we can start looking at individual cards that I know probably aren't going to make the finalists. Alright, we don't need Pox anymore. So that can go... We'll probably get rid of the orb too. I think we have enough other life gain and I don't need to get mind slavered while that thing's out. Uh, blanket should be redundant. Ancient tomb, embrace. Embrace is probably too expensive to make enough creatures unblockable to be worth running in the deck. Laws of kicks can stay for right now. Familiar, victimize. <clears throat> and dynamo. I don't need trainer anymore. Hmm. I don't need him anymore. Yeah, I think we can cut Balther. Although Balther is actually funny with Infernal Genesis since it does make minions specifically. Eh, it's probably still not necessary though. Romancer can stay for right now. East. Or hammer. I don't need the mask too. We have enough other card draw. And then the rest in exile, yeah, we can probably cut Plunge. Bushu, Night Dealings. Nice, so I can cast an instant from my graveyard and then exile that instant. Eh. Uh, we don't need Miku Koru anymore. From the lands list. And we can cut Gaia Reach Sanitarium too. Uh, Miasma is not doing enough. Another world, another trader, tendrils. Yeah, I think we have enough other things to discard cards with. We don't need the siphon mage. Even if he can give me like six life. Death render. Earth 
Shriek Maw, Bitter Blossom. Blood Witch, Soren, Nighthawk. Every pain kind's probably like either I'm almost dead anyway in order to get everybody else low or I've gained enough life that I actually don't want to cast that, so neither one sounds particularly healthy. <clears throat> I think we can cut that one. Uh, Massacre Worm, Kosis Crawler, Sangromancer, Air Skull. Harvester of Souls. You see, yeah, so far most of this can stay. Probably have enough other card draw, we don't need Ob. Leader, Kalidas, Kozilek. Yeah, we probably have enough other stuff. I did like the Haunted Dead for making the 1-1 one, one token every time it comes back, but discarding two cards is probably a bit much. Uh, we can probably get rid of the tree also. Gear Hulk, Panharmonicon... God, Pharaoh... Seeker, Thematic Compass, Sun, Yoshi's 11 mana to make all of his guys. They do have Menace though, which is not the worst. He's ill-gotten inheritance. Aunt of Hightower, Citadel, Word. Yeah, General Lily can stay. Uh, ample haste gives the opponent three, three, three gout tokens, three goat tokens. Uh, gain my combat and put me like a creature to tap this, and I gain three life and draw a card. Hmm. Just making rats and gives the menace. The ravens gives me life when they attack me. A skyclave mastery. All oh, right, now that we don't want the opponent drawing lots of extra cards. We don't want the mastery anymore. That's true. Evan <clears throat> uh, Death. Forsworn Paladin. We'll probably cut Loth for the same reason we could cut um, 
Obnixilus before. I can go... Yeah, a curse is probably too ineffective. Opportunities meat hook, carrier bat. Dying to serve is a bit underwhelming with only one creature per turn. March at Wretched Sorrow, Nashi. Nashi. Each player exiles the top card, then I can play a card among them by paying life equal to its mana cost. To me, rebuy comes into play abilities if I can get them through. Um, probably won't need him. Keep going though, see if I can find anything else that's worse. Drivener, Sleeper. Yeah, I don't know if I need all of the opponents can't gain life things anymore. Now that we've cut, now that we're not focused on the first ability, we don't super care if they can gain some of the life back. We might be able to go back and cut all of those. Also, allows for more shenanigans with the life total exchange cards, since they don't work if an opponent can't gain life. And we're trying to make one player with a high... Like, if we're trying to swap two opponents' life totals, those things don't work anymore. There's a reason to do that. Um, that one... Hang your back. Present stays. Spare. Which means we might get rid of the Archfiend of Despair. I do like him as a uh, as another wound reflection, but probably cut Krav. I don't think I super care about Vitrus either, for that matter. Cruelty, Feast of Sanity, I definitely want to keep. Eh, we're probably off the Soul Talisman at this point. Horizon Stone. Transfusion can stay. Is there a Toxic Deluge? Thought Vessel. Little Subordinates, probably nothing anymore. I mean, it's a 3 mana 3 1 with Menace, but I think we can do better. Probably don't need the sower. Powered auto generator, Carrick stays, Malgam stays. I uh, probably don't need the bloodcaster. Parasitic impetus is a little underwhelming for what we're doing. Because Crossway Troublemakers, Glass Heart. Probably get rid of the Plague Drone. Uh, 
<sighs> My creatures are also artifacts in all zones. When I cast an artifact, I lose one life and make a 2-2 two -two black Necron warrior token. That is also an artifact. Every time I cast a creature or one of my actual artifact spells, I lose a life and get an extra 2-2. Two -two. It's probably still worth it. Or at least to consider for right now. Wars, Vengeant Vampire. Also, we never did add Mana Crypt to this. Which we should. Because I'm definitely running it in this deck. Hey. Anyway. Tutor, Mana Vault, Soul Ring, Oubliette, Gate to Phyrexia. Yeah, I think we still run Gate right now. Ashes, Boon, Tutor, Mindstone, Reanimate, Reckless Spite, Scroll Rack, Automaton, Claws of Gix, Corrupt. Familiar, Victimize, Warm Power Stone, Yogg Moss Will, Bone Shredder, Grim Mile of Memory Jar, No Mercy. Reclamation, we might be able to cut, despite it being a reusable Raise Dead. We do have, like, the Oversold Cemetery and whatnot, so... Yeah, I can probably go. Grand scheme of things, not as important. Eh. Probably can go. Let me think just a little bit longer. Oh, yeah, it's true, the... Whatever it was from the Warhammer thing goes really super well with Metalworker. <laughs> um, we're getting close to time for me to go... Any other obvious cuts that I'm definitely not running anymore? Sculpting Steel, Sad Robot, oh, Beacon, Crucible, Wings Top. Another World, Nether Trader, Tendrils. Nation, Mischief, Magus. Probably not running Null Profusion anymore. I did want to consider it bef when we first came across it. It's probably not going to make it. Yeah, I probably don't need the Dolmen Gate either. I like my guys not dying and being able to swarm somebody, but... Wasting an actual card slot on that thing seems not the best. Edition map, witch, hawk, collar, chalice. Sanguinate, stratoscythe. Journal, definitely. Like, more so than almost any other card in this thing, um, Venser's Journal. Page Sun, Karn, Lash Rithe, Obliterator maybe will get cut. Like, I think most of the reason it's in here is the quad black for, um, what's its name, Grey Merchant and, um, Underworld Hermit, but I could see it getting cut. Damn, Blood Gift Demon, Micaeus, Exquisite Blood, Harvester, Grave Betrayal. Ripgast, Tracers, Boy, Pontiff. Yeah, we can probably cut Erebos. We don't need the No Life Gain Clause, and we have better draw effects than him now. Drawing a Hedron Archive. Yeah, I was always 
kind of iffy on this Drana to begin with. I don't super think we need her. Depleter, Kalidus, Kozilek, Whale, Floorboards, Emrakul, Gonti. If near can stay, because, yeah, discarding my whole hand kills all of our opponent's creatures a lot of the time, so. Faith of the Devoted. Out of the Grave, Throne of the God, Fair. Throne's probably too cute. Like, they're already going to be losing life if we're attacking. Having them lose life for all my tapped creatures probably isn't necessary. I do want a lot of little creatures in play, though. Yeah, maybe we'll give it a little more time. Let me think about it. Seeker, Thematic Compass, Frosca's Contempt, Sworn, Tetsamok. So fame. Font of Agonies almost definitely makes it. I saw Liliana. Vizier so far is good. Peace. Each opponent loses a life and I gain one life. Sack another black creature to draw a card. Yeah, it probably still stays. Fang. Scavenger. No priest. Blood mage. We might be able to cut Lily, like Professor Onyx Lily. And the Sedgemore Witch. I don't know how many actual instants and sorceries I'm going to be running. Uh, Paladin's ultimately not going to make it, I don't think, but we'll leave her in for now. Same thing goes for Horde Robber. I have to believe I have better stuff than either of those two. Eternal Grass, Mask of Gristlebrand. They're relatively cheap, and the Paladin can give Death Touch, and I can get extra mana early on. I don't want to draw either of them in like the mid to late game, so... They probably won't make it. Spy, Shakedown Heavy, Tenacious Underdog. All playable in the deck, whether or not any of them... Alright, we probably don't need the Knight of Dust Shadow now. Cruelty of Gix. Leveler. You have to double check what most of these are. I know this is the lifelink... Uh, ward pay life equal to its power prototype. Probably won't wind up needing the symmetry matrix anymore. I think I want the puppeteer. I think that's the life drain one. And leveler is like a bad um, ulamog. Which, given how much mana I intend to be throwing around, is probably still pretty good. Demon, Swift Foot Boots, Tormented Soul. Probably won't need the Disciple anymore. Although it does gain me life also. that That's more tempting than the actual drawing like 10 or 11 cards off the Eldrazi is just being able to gain back all the life I've been spending. Phyllis, Hooded Blight Fang, Silver Smoke. Yeah, we'll leave that Archfiend for right now. Probably want to gain three life. Vein Transfusion, Theomancer, Blade of Cells, Atlas, Skullstorm. Yeah, the Skull Storm isn't really... Like, it's just barely anything in this deck. I was amused by it, by the fact that we have a commander that both is cheap itself and that I would probably have to cast several times, but also has the mana to run 
like a nine drop sorcery, but I think we have enough other insanely high casting cost um sorceries that I don't need another one that's only good once we've cast Gex like three times or something. <clears throat> Amber, dog detective. Yeah, I think that's going to be it for the first pass. Just to get rid of some stuff and clean up the deck a little bit. Like, re-put focus on activating the second ability over activating the first ability. Or getting other people to pay for the first ability. So, yeah, that's going to have to do it for today, though, because i got to get ready for work. Uh, thank you again to Common of Legends for stopping by, for all of the suggestions and everything. I do appreciate it. And I will see you all next time. Have a good rest of your day.